The suspect has been arrested. Box 13's Jeremy Pierre joining us live downtown outside the courthouse. And she's doing court in about an hour. What do we expect to happen? A bail hearing, perhaps? Yes, and uh, we'll hear if a judge will, uh, in fact, give her a bond. Monica Williams, she's charged with first degree. Now, again, this is her first time uh, facing a judge since Memphis police arrested her yesterday. She went on a run from police for about a week or so, a week ago. She, according to Memphis police, she shot Anitra West, that church's chicken employee. And uh, last week we spoke to the family of Anitra West. We heard strong words from her 12 year old daughter to Monica Williams. And just yesterday we spoke to her parents. You'll hear from them in less than 30 minutes from now in this hour of Good Morning Memphis. But a lot of things have come out inside of that affidavit. We do know now that this was all over an order of chicken at Church's Chicken, that affidavit detailing that. We also know that when Anitra West lost her life, that that gunshot, that fatally, uh, that fatal gunshot, she actually was on the phone with a friend, according to that affidavit. Of course, we want you to stay with us because, again, uh, Monica Williams, she's set to be in court in less than an hour from now. We'll be inside of that courtroom. Want you to stay with us. Now, all I'm going to say is, what kind of argument could you have that you would kill somebody that's a damn employee at Church's Chicken? Like, how? So, I'm going to stop it for a second. First thing. Love that chicken for Popeyes. Second thing. <laughs> listen, this woman on the screen is in jail for deleting the other woman. They were inside the Church's Chicken. The order went wrong. They got to argue. The woman said, I'll be outside, right? The other woman, from what the story said, she told her boss, you know, a few minutes later, I guess the lady was outside her job. You know how black women get, you ain't about to be outside my job, right? She told her boss, I need to go outside and smoke a cigarette or something. She went outside because she still had smoke with that woman. And she went outside and they got to arguing. And the woman you see on the screen here pulled her firearm out and deleted her <laughs> over some chicken, Mr. Walker. Chicken. <sighs> What what is that? Is that gangsta? Huh? Is that tough or is that unhinged? Wait, why did we show this clip? The title of the show: Can modern hyenas be saved or not? Nah? All right, that's why we plan this video. But that percent that percentage of pe women who pull out guns is so small, it's negligible. No, it's not. It no, be, it's not in twenty twenty four. It's not. Yes, it oh, is. Up here, on the panel. Have many on that. It up here on the panel, how y'all will pull a gun? Stop. What? What? Crystal, oh, y'all are talking about. Oh, no, I said that if somebody oh, tried to. No, I said that if. Respectfully, we got to stop capping. No, know. I said if somebody tried to cause bodily harm to me as a man, I would have no choice but to use a fire. Y'all all have made references to firearms and how you can protect him. Lots oh, of women. No, I, I would never tell you. Nobody is, nobody is shooting I'm somebody listen, over chicken. Listen, nobody is shooting somebody over the chicken. Internet. They're only, oh, I got a nine millimeter. What I need a man for? This is a common thing. Stop the no. It's, but do you it's, say that she came back outside? Ain't that what y'all said? She told her she lied to her boss. Said I'm I'm finna go smoke, but really she had beef with the girl. So she came out there to pick on the girl. Then it ended up where the girl shot her. I mean, no. So the, employee, the girl went in to order. This woman on the screen went in to order some food. She uh -huh. got into it with the employee. Mm -hmm. This woman on the screen left, went back to her car. The mm -hmm. employee followed her out and got to arguing, and this woman deleted her. Okay, it's this is ghetto hood stuff. This happens all the time. It's, it shouldn't happen, but it does. Okay, like, me it, saying it that happens. I have to defend myself if it a man's trying all to come the time. Up. Listen to yourself. Yeah, but not to women. Not women doing yes, it all the do. time. You know, I know lots of women where I live that are doing this. There are it's so many women. women it's not a lot of women doing that. Y'all believe that if y'all want to. That most women are going it's around. Mostly men doing chicken. that. It's not mostly women doing that. We didn't I say it was, but we know it's a it's large percentage. What, here's a large percentage. Uh, check this out. Just check this out. How, how far? How far have women come from their natural state to where they deleting each other over chicken? I don't care if it's just one. Over no chicken. I don't <laughs> care. She did. She got deleted over chicken. Like yeah, how? I mean, it's, how it's hilarious. How, it's how like, bad does the culture have to be for a grown woman? Most likely, most likely, she has a kid that was a mother. So now most likely we got a mom that's incarcerated away from her kid. Right. That's and we, we know this is this is horrible. Nobody is saying that this is light. Like this is ridiculous. But what I'm saying is that we're we're putting this on the stage like it is 
uh, we, we talk about majorities when we want to. The people in the comments want to go off statistics when they want to. And statistics show men cheat more than women. You can gaslight me all you want to. Look it up on multiple different websites and different research studies. That's what it says. So you pick statistics when you want to. And if you want to paint all black women to be this ghetto hood ratchet woman walking around with a nine ready to shoot everybody, I don't walk around with a gun. So I don't even know what we're talking about right now. Like this, is I don't a have a gun. I don't have a gun. Instead oh, of taking oh, the, I, instead of taking the evidence of the women on the panel, we got more making women it. on the panel. What's this? We got to stop making it so personal. If if every time you guys came up with a scenario that I found undesirable to men, and I sat here and said, "But I don't do that," I'd be able to do that for every dang on thing. The statistics guys. also Let's show. Listen, hold on, hold on, and that's what seriously grinds my gears if y'all knew how many times me and mr walking can sit here and just be like not me not me the whole show we, the whole no show we're not saying i said majority Hold on, crystal the whole show would just be redundant because everything y'all say out y'all mouth we could simply say it's not us and i said a majority i said and i just also say the majority also said myself because i'm only saying yeah mother y'all speak for y'all yeah, no, we can say the same thing we can say this, the same no, thing all of us I, all of us women don't do that and it's four of us up here that's who what, have that's told you that we do not we do not yeah, end right. up as a sexy red and we do not end up as that Nora and, and we, we keep telling you we're the average women. Queen, we are no. talking to you. We are talking to the observable. Even when we say a majority, majority of the black women in the comments, do y'all walk around shooting people over chicken? We can just use that right there. No, they All right, here we go. Here we go. We go hit the like button if you're just coming in. I'm pulling this video up. Can these modern hyenas be saved? Here we go. Can these nug nugs be saved? There we go. What? It's pressure out here in the hood today. On this beautiful day. I'm out here in my raincoat. What is pressure? The pressure. That is pressure. What is pressure in the rain out there, big boy? Know that shit real. Get every angle. Come on, get every, every, I gotta be a good camera. You know the iPhone waterproof. Gang gang. You're ignorant. I just zoomed in too far. I just zoomed in so far, I got to keep bagging that. God damn. How do I zoom up? <laughs> Man, oh. I didn't zoom. Oh, yeah, they figure it out. They figure it out. You all got pressure. You all got pressure. Oh, niggas got pressure too. The niggas got pressure too. Well, the niggas got pressure too, though. Anybody can get it. Boy, it's a freak ass Sunday. Anybody can get it. Well, pressure, boy. Hey, pressure. Pressure! Those some hefty girls, boy. Look at the big girl. She gonna hurt, gonna hurt somebody. <laughs> but what's going on? God and his brother doing this thing. And they out here doing their thing against the grain. You feel me? We got a shaking ass twerk boy. Okay, there. <laughs> they was on the steps twerking at them. She, they start twerking. This is the did, hood. These did are you Mr. Walker grow up in the hood? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's this exact hood. forum. This is yeah. the majority. This is how we know this so well, Tierney. And Mr. Walker, yeah. can these moderate hyenas be saved? No, it's over. We got <laughs> it's over. It is. And here's the thing: we're not saying it's over. To sound doom and gloom, we got to think about the future generations because them sisters up there twerk fighting on the apartment steps, fighting in the middle of the rain with no shoes on, out in the muck and the mud, thinking it's cute and funny and entertaining. It's over for them. But maybe the babies that ain't even born yet, the ones that still in their father's. And no, not even throat. them. Not even them because that's their mamas, Mr. Walker. That's what I said earlier. Right. These are the same. It's a repetitive cycle when these are the very same women raising the boys and girls.
I mean, huh. hyenas, for every hyena, there's a nug nug. But there's for every good woman, there's a good man. I mean, you if there was no hyenas in the world, right? Let's just say every woman in the world was good. Like, do you guys know how perfect you would have to be? Like, we, you guys are welcome for hyenas because they give you nug nugs a, an opportunity in life. And there's you a want, lot what, of Hold on, Terry. Why would you be worried about, why wouldn't you just present your best self? Why would you say, I got to dumb myself down so that I can attract a mate? Instead of being this shining light and this great woman, and whether a man qualifies or not, that's fine. Yeah, I think there are a lot of shining women. You guys just down talk them no, about the kids they have. You just said the opposite, Tierney. About which part? I mean, I feel like you guys. I mean, you, said, like what, you said what if every why do every first of all we don't say every woman but you said what why do every woman have to be this amazing great woman then what right. then, then, how, then what are you guys gonna do why are you worried about what the men gonna do worry about yourselves and then you see what i'm saying you you say i'm not gonna be a good woman because <laughs> nothing I, is ever gonna get fixed when men don't worry about men and women don't worry about women it's never going to get fixed because men are focused on the problem instead of solution which men are supposed to do and women have no leadership so they're just doing what they think the ratchet ass men want them to do. And that's pretty much what's happening. We have a society of people who just give up and are not leaders and don't want to make a change. Um, like Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, people who actually stand up against what seems to be doom and gloom and say, let's actually make a change. Let's actually be the example um, and not just focus on the problem. So I think that's 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 what's going on. Um, also, 17.1% of Black people live below the poverty line, aka probably in these projects. So yes, is it messed up to be in a situation? But I think as people, regardless of your race, if you did just a little bit of research into what how projects actually started, you would be pissed, and you would uh, you wouldn't even joke about it. You would be in a position of um, actually trying to change that, you know, mm -hmm. instead of just making fun of these people who are part of a a, a government experiment. You know what? And that's the thing, though, like, shoot, like we love, you know, giving our testimony saying we grew up in that because we grew up right in the thick of that right there, right there. And we're not making fun of it. We shining the light on it because that's my whole point. If only one woman on the face of this earth, one melanated sister deleted another melanated sister over chicken, not even a minority, just one example. Does that one example not? have a big effect or show the overall picture of where we are as a people if one woman a woman not a man that say up the pole like how far have we gotten from where we're supposed to be and that's, i mean we're super we're super far from where we're supposed to be um that's not even a that's not even an argument i don't think anybody agrees that we're far off base where we should be but i also think that you don't get to this space if you're just only focusing on the people who don't want to do right and and are in a unfortunate circumstance a spell almost that they don't even realize they're under so yeah. it's possible you got out of the hood gavin got out of the hood um when you know better you do better if, if if you make the right choices in life but it's the thing is at what cost and and at what great lengths and that's our number one thing like we don't expect it will be ungodly of us to be like oh any young man or woman can make it through the circumstances we made it to and make it to this point in our life with this frame of mind that's if you tell them cold. how you did it if you, you know, tell them how you did it you know, it don't work that way you see what i'm saying i agree if you tell them how you become become a star athlete there you go see what that that's terrible that was that's what i'm saying it, like if you want to become a kobe bryant or a malcolm or uh, michael Jordan, that's, right that's you train in order to do so right to the masses not to very special particular individuals with a skill set that's what i'm saying like become a, a basketball player or a sports star to make it out the hood that is terrible advice yeah That's but i'm just using right? it as an example of you show a person the example and that way they can hopefully yeah but, you, but, that but men are trying to tell women to keep their legs closed without telling the men that they need to keep their johnson in their pants what makes you think a woman is going to keep her legs closed when a man keeps coming at her with his wood in his hand it doesn't happen that way. You have to tell both parties that they need to do some restraining. It can't just be on her. Okay. You can't just okay. tell everybody it's the female's problem. It's not just the female's problem. It's the man's problem as All right, well. Granted, 
granted. So I want to get these super chats real quick. I'll let you get in here real quick, Rockwell. What's your take on this and all this ish? So when Heathen Queen says you got to talk to both the men and the women, yes, you do. I think, you know, growing up, I grew up in Berlin for a little while. So they never separated boys from girls when we did overnight trips. There would be like, two boys in a room, two girls in a room, and a chaperone. And it's always like impressed upon us that you're supposed to be the governor of yourself. So if, you know, you, t you put two reckless people together, then you're gonna have these reckless outcomes. So I think that like water seeks its own level you know, so it the Pookies and the Ray Rays are getting with the young ladies who are not saying get a condom and, and they keep procreating and that becomes and and for for guys too, you know, you're the ones dropping the seed. So as much as we tell young women to guard themselves. Also, young men, when you give a child away, that is your legacy. You are giving your family's legacy away to a woman who could potentially take from your family everything that your grandfather or your great-grandfather worked for. You know, my family is in the South. Like, we do a lot of pecan trees and pecan farms or, you know, I... I would hate it if one of my brother's baby's mothers ended up taking all of my family's, you know, wealth that they've accumulated over the years, you know, and after a certain point, you got to start saying, okay, this person is reckless. We got to start writing the will a certain way so that we can safeguard and control all of these things that we have worked for, you know, so I, I, I think it's, the reckless people are getting with the reckless people and they're being reckless. And now these outcomes have become so the norm that people that you wouldn't think would be affected by it are. And so now it's just like, well, wait a minute, you know, like what's right and what's wrong. I, I think everybody is confused because it's not just, you know, it's that lady, what's her name that said she, She's having a baby through in vitro and wouldn't date the bus driver. Ebony you know? Ebony yeah. Kent. Yeah. Now it's ladies like her acting as ratchet as the young ladies in the hallway at that project. You know, like she's doing the same thing. She's just dressing it up in fancier words. And instead of on Baddies Club, she was on uh, the Housewives of New York, you know, but she's just as ratchet. Right, like her outcome no, of what she's, she's not doing. Just as ratchet. She's definitely not. As she ratchet. definitely is just as ratchet because she went out and paid for a pookie sperm to have a seed with. She bought a pookie sperm. Like no, no. We know uh, she bought a pookie sperm. I mean, we usually when men go to deliver these packages at the package store, they're coming. Shout out to Low Kiko too. Uh -oh. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. I ain't say nothing. Don't get scared now. Shout out to King Adams. <laughs> <laughs> Says Crystal, we can all we can have all the solutions in the world. Our women can't continue to be stubborn. Again, our women can't continue to be stubborn and resist to listening to the men or anyone that isn't picture perfect or isn't catering to their feelings. <laughs> Shout out, King Adams. Money, 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 money. Shout out to Low Key Come Through the 50 Ball. Says, get Raquel out here. Women have the options and and they chose to procreate, and they chose to procreate with Nug Nug. Yeah, and I say, I say, take accountability for dropping off your sperm. I said, stop her, it. I, she I, has to take accountability, I, and so do the man. No, no listen, he's the queen. The Both man all need to take accountability. No, listen, listen. We hear you. 
regardless of what happens, the man will be forced to take accountability one way or the other. Where the she woman takes accountability when she has a child. She's no, raising she a don't. child. That's her no, whole don't. accountability right there. They ain't Ooh. raising these kids. The kids are no, no, don't even go Listen, there. We're hold on, hold raise. on. About between, between the they go to school for eight hours a day. Some of these kids go to daycare. They at Nana's house. They have no, their cousin's house. Hold on, he the queen. These kids are playing sports, extra extra activities after school, all that. These these women are at the bar more than they raise their children. We ain't talking about how it's raised. We're talking about the fact that they are. We got them. We could give them away. No, we can put listen. them on church steps. We can do no. all that thing. The Different fact ways. that she takes the child. The fact that she even goes nine. And she gets benefits. If she if she did not take the child, she wouldn't have a place to live or food to eat. She That's why she takes the from child. The no, no. She if she did, no, 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 get stuck. Now, now, Bonquisha get a house for free, quote unquote. We ain't Listen, talking about that. Listen, we talking about who? Bonquisha get a house to eat. She get food, a house. No, no, got to pay. He loses his license, his passport, can't get a job. He'll go to jail, et cetera, et cetera. Bonquisha can go, like I said before, and put the baby in the mailbox and go back to work and nothing will happen. We ain't talking about that. We're talking about the fact that you, are. you, you exactly give up the responsibility. You give up your body to have sex. You give your body over to me, and I have the responsibility after you give me your sperm. So, therefore, you're letting me and have control has to pay. of your life. The system will, the system will hold you, him accountable. You're you see that? And, and look, hold on. Here's the thing. Time out. Time out. Time place. out. There's Here we go. Place. Your power don't stop there. He's the queen. I love it because I don't know. You gonna realize before, before it's all said and done, just how the, uh, today's modern woman can do her part in helping. You know, helping the culture. You said that there. You said once the man gives her his seed, now she has authority, and you are correct. She That's still, she, at that point, she has the only authority. She decides whether or not that kid is born or not. She can bring it to life or she could end it. She has that authority even after he gives it to her. But so she decided to she give makes, it to she me. Makes, she makes the final But decision. you decided to give it to me, which means you even, gave me the first after, choice. Even after he decides to give it to her, she still has a chance but to have it or not. made the first choice. She still has the no, he did not. No, you you made the first choice. He did not make she made the first choice when she no, opened her damn legs up. You made that's the, the first choice. Your the first spot. choice you, is to open your legs and let me in. No, that's the first you choice. You made the first choice. That's to give the up your first turn. choice. You the gave up all your control. You gave up all your control. Now, panties off and let the man stick his penis in. You gave up all your control. That's the first choice. That's the first choice. No, you made the first choice. You gave up your control on this planet to me. That you was the gave second up choice. Your that was the second choice. That was the second choice. That's the no, second that was choice. the first choice. The first no, choice was you got to open your legs up first. Door. You, you can't to my door. Listen, you made I can't the first just choice. poking you. I can't poke nowhere. You got to open up for me, baby. You made you the first choice. Up. Over Once there. you open up, I can start poking, but you got to open. For and me. you know what? That first choice don't make a difference. Let me these super chats. The first choice don't make a difference, though. It don't make a difference. Shout out to Low Key Man. Says over chicken. This got to be the pettiest crime. How far we have fallen. <laughs> <laughs>